Hey guys, um, this is a case about the murder of John Lennon. Now, if you're a Beatles fan, you know who John Lennon is. Um, this case, I remember this um, back in 1980, and this really hurt me um, because I'm a huge, huge Beatles fan. Um, I'm more, I'm more of a Paul McCartney fan. I love Paul McCartney, but I also love John Lennon. He's a very good singer and. There's a lot of videos on him and his life um, about his first marriage to Cynthia Lennon. Then he was married to Yoko Ono, who's a Japanese woman, and he has two boys. And it doesn't matter if he had like a, a you know like a really bad childhood or he had problems in school growing up or whatever. He became extremely famous. Um, I think he was a very very good person, and nobody deserves to die. It doesn't matter um, if you like the person or you don't. Um, this story is about John Lennon and his memory, um, and I love John Lennon, so here it is, guys. Um, if you want to know more about this case, or if you never heard of it, or if you want to learn more about it, like I said, you could Google it and YouTube it, and there's so many different topics. There's books about it, newspaper articles, um, so many different stories and all different types of stuff, but this is my story on it. Um, I'm going to try to be kind of quick with this. Um, like I said, this really touched my heart because I really love John Lennon. Um, I love the Beatles, period. So, anyway, let's get started. This is the death of John Lennon. Um, he was a singer from the Beatles. The two main singers, there's four guys in the group. There was Ringo, um, George Hamilton, Paul McCartney, and John Lennon. And John Lennon and Paul McCartney were like the two main ones. Very good singers. Um, he was a very, very good person. And um, here is John Lennon right here with his other second son, Sean Lennon, when he was a baby. And there is him and his wife, Yoko Yono. And then that's the killer right here. I don't want to show his face. I don't even want to hear about him. But anyway, I'm going to get right into this John Lennon. Now, after the Beatles split up and everything, they went their separate ways. They were all still good friends and they did their music and everything. He was living in New York City where he loved and Yoko Yona loved. And um, the killer was named Mark David Chapman. He's a crazy, um, which is this fat guy right here. He has mental illness. He's weird. Um, he has a lot of problems. He's just a psycho weirdo. But anyway, um, on December the 8th at around 5 o'clock, um, they left their apartment, which is called the Dakota, which is in Central Park in New York City's Upper West Side. Um, he came out later on and he was signing autographs and, you know, looking at different people. A lot of people just, you know, hang around. They want to spot the singer and, you know, um, you know, just a lot of people are around and things like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy about anything. And, um, he went outside and he saw Mark David Chapman, which is the killer, right? Now this guy came out, he had a book and he wanted John Lennon to sign and he's all excited and everything and, John Lennon just came over. He was a nice guy. And he just signed, you know, his autograph and, you know, being nice to the people and everything. And everything was fine. So later on at 10.50 at night, John Lennon and his wife came back home because they were doing a recording session that day. And, um, you know, they didn't think anything of it. So they went back to their apartment. And that crazy guy, Mark David Chapman, he jumps out of the shadows and just comes out of nowhere and says, oh, hi, um, Mr. Lennon. Then he turns around and shoots him with a thirty-eight caliber five times. So the doorman that was at the door, he called 911 right away. And this asshole, this killer right here, this asshole here, right? He was just sitting on the sidewalks, just sitting there waiting for the cops to come. At least he didn't run away or nothing. He just actually sat there and waited for the police. Then he's bragging to everybody like he shot John Lennon. He wanted to get famous because... He's like, well, I'll get famous because I shot John Lennon, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, John Lennon was rushed to the hospital, and um, he ended up passing away at the age of 40 years old. It was a tragic, devastating news to all Beatle lovers, music, you know, the music world, and it was all over the news. It was a huge case when Paul McCartney and all his, you know, the band members and people that loved him, fans, um, his ex-wife, his, his wife, um, his children, everybody. Everybody was devastated. They were all upset. Um, I was devastated. There were so many people in the world that were devastated. 
Um, it was just crazy. And um, this guy claims that he was listening to his songs and he got angry at John Lennon because John Lennon didn't believe in God and he didn't believe in heaven and all this crap. Because if you listen to a song, Imagine, um, he says, Imagine there's no heaven. He didn't say there wasn't a heaven. He said, Imagine there's no heaven. You know, he's just singing a song because he's a poet. He he was all about peace and, and love and, you know, good things about him. And it doesn't matter if he said something or not. This crazy person had no right to take his life. No right at all. Um, so this asshole weirdo, he got 20 years to life. And um, it was just a very, very tragic um, situation. Um, so if you want to know more about this case, you can look it up on Google and YouTube. And like I said, there's books about it. There's newspaper articles. There's so many things out there about John Lennon. Um, he was a wonderful person, a wonderful artist, very much talented. Now his son, his older son from his first marriage, Julian Lennon, excellent singer. He's a twin of his father. He looks just like his father. He has his father's voice and everything. Now his second um, son from his second marriage of Yoko Yono, Sean Lennon, he looks more like his mother. Um... And he don't really have the qualities too much of John Lennon. Like, he, he can sing, and he's good and everything, but he doesn't really sound too much like his father. Julian Lennon does. If you want to look up Julian Lennon, his son, a lot of great music. Um, John Lennon is, a like I said, he's a wonderful artist, and it touched a lot of people, a lot of people who loved him. It really devastated the world. And um, after his death, right in Central Park um, at the Dakota, right across the street in New York City, they have a little section there, and they put it in his memory, and it's called Strawberry Fields Forever, which is a song from the Beatles, and um, they, they, you know, they have like a design there made of beautiful stones, and it says Imagine, and um, a lot of people are upset, like, why? Why did he have to take his life? Um, I just don't understand that. Like, this is the crazy guy right here, and... He's just sick. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. Um, he deserves everything he gets. I'm not going to even talk too much about this video on this um, asshole right here. This video is about the memory of John Lennon, who was a wonderful person, a great artist. Um, I'm not going to be constantly talk about the killer or whatever because he's not worth my time. Um, but anyway, I believe God gained another angel. And John Lennon was a, like I said, he would never be forgotten. And... Whoever's a real true Beatles fan knows what I'm talking about. Everybody loved him and, you know, the world. And we will always remember him through his music and the life that he lived. And he was a good person. So, um, so anyway, this is out of respect for John Lennon and his fans. And, you know, um, we love him and, you know, he will be greatly missed. So anyway, if you want to know more about it, like I said, you could Google it. And there's a lot of information on different things. And um, this is just my video. Um, thanks for watching this. And stay tuned for more. I'll be doing more soon again. Have a good day, guys. Bye.